Hi, I'm Cameron. I'm an automation developer with Seven Robotics, and we're testing a veneer pairing and grading line. This process is currently being done without robots, where an operator will pick up a piece of veneer and they'll have to kind of flip it and slide it into a cart and along other, other pieces of veneer. And occasionally, as they're doing that, they'll actually cause breakage and downfall. By using a robotic system, we're able to minimize the touches and it'll actually prevent downfall of, of veneer. Furthermore, with veneer grading and stacking being done by hand, it is a potential for slivers. A lot of operators will still wear gloves, but occasionally those slivers will go through the gloves. And so we're helping protect operators' hands. Uh, this system still uses an operator to determine the grade. So we're not displacing any workers with this system. We're actually making it more safer and allowing these operators to work longer term. So an operator comes up to run the system. They're gonna be looking for the number of knots on the veneer, the color of the veneer. They're gonna estimate kind of the approximate size of these knots. And based on that information, they all operators determine, able to determine what type of grade of veneer it is, whether it's an A grade, a C grade. Sometimes the knots will actually play a factor in the grade. So like a dime C is typically got veneer or knots that are around the size of a dime. And then the overall aesthetic of the veneer will play a factor in that, in the role of the grade. And the aesthetic factor is the hardest thing to accommodate in determining the grade. There's vision systems that are getting better at determining knots and size of defects and whatnot, but the overall aesthetic, what's pleasing to the human eye, is really hard to program into. And that's one of the main reasons why this customer chose to keep the operator determining the grade, was to be able to optimize that aesthetic factor. This system will handle 1 6th to 1 10th softwood veneer, and we're squaring to plus or minus an eighth of an inch. Having square corners is important, as if they're not square when they go into the saw, then it'll produce diagonal cuts, and then when they're, the operators are laying up at the layup line, those sheets will be skewed as they get placed against those edges. We chose to use two robots for this line, so that way one robot can be doing the pairing aspect of it. So picking from a known grade bin and placing it into a sequenced uh, stack. And then the other robot is handling all the grading. So the operator selects the grade and goes and sets it in the right bin. And then having these two robots working together helps minimize the overall number of bins and helps really speed up the process. If we were to use one robot for all of this, you would be trying to place the veneer in the correct grade and then placing it in the stack. So you're handling the veneer more and it's you're not optimizing both processes. So by doing two processes in one area and using the two different robots, you're able to ensure that each robot is being utilized fully. If you're looking for a similar application, uh, the way we would work with you is reach out to us, phone call, email. We'll respond as quickly as we can and then we'll schedule a consultation to understand your parameters, your intent of the project. And then from there, We'll put together a layout and 3D simulation, and then we'll go through and create the proposal for you so you can have a nice budget for what that system will cost. And then we'll work with you to revise that as needed to get it perfectly honed in for your application. And then once you submit an order, we'll do a kickoff with the engineering team and it'll go into production.